Grandpa spoiled us. We simply wouldn't eat unless the lunch or dinner was accompanied by a little story. Dada's stories were about living in harmony with nature and cherishing moral values such as truthfulness. He was a deeply religious man who punctiliously observed the core tenets of the faith. His faith was strengthened with deeply moral values. The green wilderness provided a tranquil sanctuary for him to meditate in peace. Grandpa nurtured a sense of wonder in all of us through tales of nature. Grandpa's farm stories were stories that helped to connect us to our roots and keep us grounded in our culture and beliefs. When Grandpa would tell these stories, then not only us kids but the whole household would gather around him and listen to him retell ancient fables that celebrate living in harmony with kindness and peace. Listen, Grandpa would say, a naturalist doesn't poke sticks into tree trunks to bother insects, catch tadpoles in nets, or take eggs from bird nests. Someone who really loves nature isn't just into it because it's good for the planet or because of clinical curiosity, but because their heart is kind and caring to all the living things around us. A caring person would hesitate before replacing their front yard grass with fake turf just to avoid mowing it a few times in the summer. Real grass is important for insects, which birds and animals rely on for food. When I see birds searching for food in the grass or a skunk digging for grub, I feel a connection to the creator who made our wonderful world. The comic books and movies have twisted so many concepts in our minds just so the writers and producers can make money. We have so many children who grow up frightened of raccoons, skunks and spiders. When we see a spider we run to get a vacuum cleaner. When we see a skunk we start shrieking as if it's a man-eating lion. Just let them be and they won't trouble you, Grandpa used to say. Many memories are so vivid in my mind, such as when our gentle grandpa joined us during our meals with stories such as Hazrat Suleiman's conversations with birds and animals, and his care that even little creatures such as the ants should not be uprooted from their homes. Grandpa's farm stories wove a tapestry of wisdom, connecting us to the beauty of nature, reminding us that kindness for all living things is the true heartbeat of our world.